hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session there's an old saying that says the mind can only absorb what the seat can endure <laughs> meaning that uh, when we're learning something that uh, if we're sitting down too long or if it uh, goes for uh, too long we tend to miss out on a lot of valuable information so I'm going to limit this session to 30 minutes so we may actually have two or three sessions in this series because what I want to get across to you is very very important and I want to make sure that I go in depth now many of you are aware that for many many years I've been trading now for over 25 years I've been constantly looking for a better way to improve my entries and exit to improve my trade signals if you like and to remove as much emotion from my personal trading as possible now you also hear me talk about uh, if you've listened to or if you're a current member or if you've seen a lot of my YouTube videos that I talk about what I call the shiny object syndrome that is many traders jump from one strategy to another as soon as something looks good or they think it's got potential they jump from what they're currently doing and they continually do this spending a lot of money along the way and not really reaching success so what I'm going to be showing you here is uh, not doing that but using I'm going to be showing you how I use some of my standard entry techniques but using Renko charts now I know what some of you are already thinking oh hang on you know there's nothing new under the Sun I know that and we'll even look at a slide about that in, in a moment and let me just move on to the next slide here and, and Gann has famously said this there's nothing new under the Sun however I also do believe in can I now I believe Tony Robbins pronounces that slightly differently I think it's kunai which stands for constant and never-ending improvement and as traders we have to become what I call a student of the market looking for a better way of doing that constantly improving our psychology when it comes to trading improving our trading skills and being open-minded at least that can I improve my trade entries my exits etc which is very very important and that leads into another key point traders when it comes to trading and you've probably all heard this the, the old saying is you can't teach old dogs new tricks now many of you that are perhaps watching one of my videos for the first time or maybe even this one for the first time has probably found me on YouTube where I tend to find uh, most of my new members come from YouTube and over 70% of them are experienced traders now one of the challenges with this is that we can become very jaded particularly if we've blown our account three or four times and yes I'm saying three or four times some of you know who you are and we've become used to doing something and it's very very hard to change but also most importantly we become what's the word for it, jaded so people have been who have long been used to doing things in a particular way will not abandon their habits but what if there is a better way now you've probably heard me say if you watch my videos in the past the sign of an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas you can still verify the idea so the purpose of the training videos that I'm about to present to you is to present some new ideas now Renko charts themselves are not new but there's a twist to them which will make a massive impact I believe if you implement it and if you study it and if you use it so therefore for the old dogs watching this I want you to be open-minded and be intelligent and so well perhaps there is some potential here you see traders what I'm about to show you here is not going to cost you one cent anyone can go or with any good charting package and look up Renko charts there's a couple of very important things with them that I'm going to be showing you that you don't have to buy anything from me to implement them and I'm going to be explaining what the twist is and how to use it and why it's so important so put away your checkbooks or, or, or just become open-minded don't be fearful that I'm going to try to sell you something yes I will show you where you can go to register for my program and get my ebooks I'll quickly show you that in a moment but you don't have to buy anything with the Renko so you'll be able to go away and start to verify some of the things that I'm telling you and it's as I mentioned it's all free now if you remember or if you've watched 
my videos or some of my videos now I now have a couple of a hundred free videos on YouTube in my trading program the day traders fast trade program there's actually 300 videos in it now I release new videos every week that are for members only and you'll hear me constantly talk about this is the questions that we ask ourselves really control the quality of our lives and so as you go through this video and any of my other videos I want you to be asking yourself how can I use this to improve my trading what's great about this what will I do differently next time how what can I learn from this how could I improve my entry how could I improve my exit how could I better qualify the trade because what I'm about to show you I believe will have a massive impact because I'm going to be showing you some of the research we started doing seven years ago and I spent a lot of money on this research when it come to Renko but I put it aside and I'll explain why in a moment and now why I've gathered the interest uh, or picked it back up again now now if you're a newer trader or if trading has not been kind to you up till now I want you to be really listen to what I'm about to say here any good trader and um, uh, you should have this book and if you don't have it you can google for it um, you can buy it from Amazon or it's even available free uh, on the internet now uh, if you google the discipline trader for the PDF but very very important Mark Douglas is probably one of the best or most important trading psychologists uh, uh, the last of the last 30 or 40 years probably the very best of the best unfortunately mark passed away um, uh, some time ago now a couple of years ago now but he's absolutely brilliant but I just want to bring up an important part of what mark says about this on page 209 he says here to become an expert choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical so that you'll be working with a visual representation of market behavior now in my program I teach traders how to trade patterns because patterns repeat themselves every day no matter which time frame patterns are geometric and fractal in nature and so though what you have on say appear on a one minute chart will appear on a range chart etc whether you're trading um, a one hour or a daily or a weekly so what mark is bringing up here is it to master the art of day trading or trading full stop whether it be swing trading or position trading you want to identify a pattern and once it mechanical and master that before you move on to another one the great thing is what I'm about to show you using Renko patterns are so easy to identify now once again I want you to drop your um, skepticism right now be open-minded as I show you this because remember this is free you'll be able to go away after this 30 minute session and start to apply this but then be ready I think we're going to be going over two or three sessions uh, with this and members I'll show you where you'll get some additional resources on this in a moment also so as we get underway I do need to of course put up the risk disclaimer otherwise the CFTC and the NFA will be after me uh, there is a risk in trading members you see this on every one of my videos I'd recommend traders I'm not going to read this line by line please pause the video and uh, read the disclaimer uh, if you're um, not already a member you can visit my uh, um, um, website and download the all the download link below and request the uh, my ebook the truth about day trading also one of my uh, training manuals huge amount of resources in there all free you can uh, request those and once again visit my website and most importantly as I have thousands of members around the world that are members of a day traders fast track program for $197 you get all of my indicators my complete program once again I'm not going to turn this into a big advertisement visit my website find out more information about the day traders fast track program this is my passion this is what I do this is what I love it's the most comprehensive program in the world today and there is no upsell there's no coaching programs to buy etc traders end of ad let's now get back into the content now going back seven or eight years ago uh, it's actually I started on this in I think it was uh, 2008 where we started researching for uh, uh, for one of the programs that we have Renko a better way of trading and 
so we started looking at Renko and we got really excited about it and I'll just show you part of report in a moment and for more I looked at it it had huge potential but with TradeStation at the time as you'll see in a moment Renko bars had no wicks therefore it lacked a lot of data on the actual um, bars highs and lows and once again stay with me I'll show you this in a moment so the result was that the bar type couldn't be back tested in modern trading software and there are a whole lot of other issues with it where when I look at a chart I like to read the information particularly the highs and lows is very very important and that was an issue with Renko at the time now since then there's been some major developments within the past particularly 8 to 12 months when it comes to Renko and I had a number of staff that actually brought this up with me and particularly with the latest version of TradeStation it had totally changed now some time ago and even before it was available on TradeStation you could get it in NinjaTrader and there are a number of other, of other plugins that you could purchase for your particular software program where you could actually start to display the tails on the Renko which I'll explain and show you very I'll show you in a moment so many of the enhanced versions of Renko recently introduced to solve the no Wix problem via of the traditional Renko modern Renko bars to show actual bar lows and highs so that you can have a more detailed investigation of price action optimize stops and targets and most importantly back test your Renko based trading systems and so there's been some major developments in this area and you'll see why this is important now one of the challenges for experienced traders that have perhaps better been using maybe tick or range or, or volume charts or even time-based charts is like anything it takes a period of time to get used to reading another type of chart so we're going to talk about that in a moment now this is a report that we put out uh, back in 2011 I was an internal report called come join the Renko revolution and this is uh, where we put a lot of work in and John Shealy uh, number uh, an author of a number of great books and being in the industry uh, uh, 40 years who was working for me had him full time on this project and this is just part of a report that he put together but as I mentioned for me and for introducing this there were a number of handicaps with it that have now been solved and just looking at this uh, this is going back there uh, to 2010 uh, with divergent signals that is using Renko a beginning um, trader and even a, a trader that's struggling or an experienced trader can focus on the primary price direction that the Renko chart displays double tops and bottoms are very easy to recognize with the Renko chart support and resistance is easy to see divergences are easy to see uh, particularly the trend as you're about to see is much easier to identify so there are just so many benefits of Renko and so we went back mechanically and started to code some of this uh, here on the pound USD which is not new we had uh, and so we're looking at Forex here at the moment uh, there were some issues there on equity drawdowns and but the bottom line was it was still very very profitable using Renko and so there's just some big big benefits and that's the purpose of this series is to really train you and to show you what to look for now because I'm going to be limiting this session this this particular one to 30 minutes so I just want to quickly cover this for members so members I know that uh, you're going to want to go and start to apply this and look at this straight away so the setups that work really well are the T1 the t2 the double tops double bottoms your 34 B's 89's and your rule of two as you know the rule of two I love uh, with Renko it's absolutely an outstanding strategy uh, the trigger line reversals which is the um, trigger line I'll be I'll show you this in a moment um, we'll cover this more in the members ones I should say an ATR stop and flip now for our counter trend traders the V trade which is really the t3 double tops double bottoms your standard divergence and your 1d and 2d and for using exits uh, and this is applies to all traders here that you can use a fixed target of course an ATR stop and flip uh, using the trigger line cross or a two brick trail now all of these 
uh, I'm going to be covering in a number of detailed videos and very quickly uh, what I'm going to do is do some separate videos which will be posted in the members area which will cover the NQ ES CL gold I'll also cover on three of the currency futures and also on two Forex markets so I'm going to be showing you what I believe are the sort of ideal setups and brick sizes etc and very quickly let me show you where these are going to be stored oh sorry wherever I'll be uploaded to so I've logged into the members area and I've opened up a new folder called Renko charts now I've already got a couple of introduction uh, these were actually two uh, recordings done by John Shealy some months ago uh, and you'll start to see then the public and member recordings but of course there'll be specific recordings where we get very in-depth using the day trader fast track strategy so you'll find them in this folder uh, called Renko charts so uh, you'll start to see them uploaded uh, from the 24th of the 11th 2017 now it's going to take me a week or two to get through all of those but you'll find them all there so getting back to this uh, and I mentioned this earlier traders if you're currently using a tick range volume or time based charts point or figure it really doesn't matter what you're um, uh, trading with what I recommend is you set up a screen and what I've got here just a screenshot and we're going to look at this live on my charting packet platform in a moment where you've got their um, uh, on one side have your Renko set up and on the other have your range or your tick or whatever chart and just start to get used to looking at these and after a period of time it will become second nature that's if you find that it works for you I believe it's going to be um, what, what it does and what they do traders is remove a huge amount of noise from the screen now there's some drawbacks which you're going to be covering here but it will make trading a lot easier for you and so we're going to be covering of course a lot more of this so let me give you a quick bit of history now I know this is basic for the experienced traders but stay with me I'll only take a few minutes so Renko charts go back uh, 140 years ago now as mentioned earlier Gan famously said there's nothing new under the Sun uh, and you also probably hear me say beware of the man that uh, says he manufactures antiques I haven't discovered anything new here just the development there's been some additional developments uh, such as the Wix on range charts so basically Renko charts what the word Renga means is bricks and that's what they look like and they're very very similar to range bars as we're going to be looking at also now what they really do here is it takes a lot of noise out of the market now this can get used to a period a time period or let me sorry let me say this again as always traders my videos are all real and unedited um, it can become it can take a little time to get used to um, uh, switching from say a tick to a Renko just like it does to a range because it does remove the noise but that is good overall now because times not a factor we're going to be looking at that in a on a chart in a moment that is volume and time is not a factor in the creation of each new bar a new bar can be created within seconds or it can take hours depending on their level of activity and the volume and the pip or tick count of the Renko chart now Renko charts ignore minor price action and that's where I used to have an issue with Renko because once again the standard Renko chart would actually hide the tails the highs and lows and that is an issue particularly uh, when we want to look at where our stop should go etc where typically I like to place my stop at the closest uh, closest swing high or a swing low so what I found I would have to do is have a tick chart up next to the Renko chart and in the end it just become all too difficult so I decided uh, not to run with them up till recently so if we have a look at here what I've got here is a chart a five minute chart so we can see the action here on a five minute so each new candle as we know is created every five minutes what I've got here is a five pip Renko chart so we're looking at 
the forex market here but it doesn't matter what market whether you're trading stocks or futures it doesn't really matter so the same time period so we can see here it's a lot smoother now when it comes down to what brick size to use because I know some of you are going to want to jump straight off this and start to look at that now just remember the greater the value of the settings the fewer bars you have the more stable and reliable your charts because as we say the lower the time frame the more noise you have but of course you've got a wider stop so as day traders which most of my members are we're going to have a lower um, time frame which we're going to be looking at and exploring and spending a lot of time on so the smaller the value of a setting the more buys you have the faster your charts will update now of course that can be a problem at times particularly when it comes to news uh, if you trade gold or CL or around the red flag on trading Forex of course and we'll look at a chart in a moment the market can take off like a rocket now you may need to set up and have what I call a happy medium and I'll give you and, and show you some options that you may have when it comes to that so if we look at a five pip Renko chart and we look at a five minute chart now of course one advantage of time-based charts is we know exactly when the candle is going to close now which means we can put our order in know exactly what is happening however we can also get a great deal of price action in that five minutes and we can miss out on some great moves so I just want to illustrate the difference but look how easy it is to identify a triple top a double bottom it's just a lot easier than if you're using say a time-based chart we can see here uh, once again we've got here uh, double tops double bottoms triple tops triple bottoms are all very easy to identify once again just a couple of slides when it comes to that we can see it there and one of the questions I know straight away that's going to come up what about range versus Renko's well let's just quickly go to my charting platform I, I want to show you this so what we're looking at here traders is and actually if I told you what if I didn't tell you what market it, it was it really wouldn't matter but it's actually uh, the black gold it's it's uh, oil uh, CL and what we're looking at here is a two brick um, uh, sorry um, uh, two tick candles here or bricks and we're looking at a two range chart on the right now it is actually the Globex session so this is actually I'm recording this on Thanksgiving Eve uh, so it's the well, my time it is it's the 23rd of the 11th 2017 so if we look at the time the market opened actually right here and we can see here we've been in a steady downtrend most of the day and what we tend to find uh, uh, trade is about my time which is 3 50 p.m. right now we're heading towards another two hours will be the London session we tend to go into a lot of sideways action until London opens and I should also mention of course being Thanksgiving Eve it's going to be uh, the markets very very quiet lots of markets are going to be closed so we're not going to get the market movement but what I wanted to point out was this here is if we look over our range chart you can just see how many more candles that you've got and that's on the right remember now some traders will look at this and say uh, and, and remember and I love range as well particularly on Forex but once you start to get used to the price action that we get on um, uh, Renko it's, they become easier the patterns are easier to identify now very quickly if we just jump over to here um, see these black dots so for members these are rule of two trades so we've got a rule of two rule of two rule of two rule of two we got a nice little divergence so I'm going to go into these is another rule of two I'll spend a lot more time on the focused members only recordings running through these but by using your what I call entry chart along with your anchor charts which I'll go into in depth in the members videos you can see here look at this trend so we're going to be looking for taking all the Renko trades or all the trades in the direction of my anchor chart okay so here we can see I've got a pullback re-entry pullback re-entry pullback 
re-entry and they're confirmed by my anchor charts which I'll spend a lot more time on so let's now go back to the PowerPoint so what you could see there or hopefully see trade is that the Renko chart gave you a lot less noise now yes you could have increased that from and, and by the way the range chart I had there was a two range you could have uh, increased it to a three range or even a four range but remember the larger the candle that you have if you're going to put your stop above a swing lie low or swing high you have a larger stop so that's one of the challenges but we're going to cover a lot more uh, on that as time goes on so let's just have a quick look at how exactly how a Renko chart or a brick is formed now what I'm showing you here does not have the tails on so when we go back to the charts on the next video I will show you and we'll, I'll explain how to read them much more efficiently so to form a, a candle or a brick or a new brick here a reversal brick these are five pip bricks it wouldn't matter whether it was a five ticks or five bricks it doesn't matter what market you're trading to form a new brick the market has to move 10 pips in this particular case to form the third brick the market has to move another five pips now for it to reverse and here we could call this um, uh, this is basically a t25 type setup the market needs to move from the bottom here 10 pips so there's your brick and you've got to exceed so if that only went up by seven there would be no brick formation the market may roll over so to reverse you've got to even though they're five pip bricks the market has to move by 10 to get a reversal likewise to get this reversal the market's got to reverse by 10 pips to actually get that reversal there hopefully that makes sense so what we can see here is to get that there's a 10 pip move 10 pip once again for it to go back up a 10 pip move but otherwise each one of these bricks is five pips in size so getting back here we can see here that 10 pips then each new bar down will be plotted only if prices fall by five pips or whatever setting you are using now getting back to the setting it comes down to what is the ideal brick size it comes down to the speed of the market and what you feel comfortable with I'll spend a lot more time on the second video on this um, just to give you some really good ideas and, and members will go even more in depth on this in the members videos but for the general public that are not members I'll give you some great tips on this but it really comes down to what you feel comfortable with and you need to spend some time on this because it's very very important that you get the speed right because remember when it comes to a news announcement and let me just perhaps uh, where have we got one I think I've got one here in a moment market can take off like a rocket uh, particularly with your volatile uh, volatile markets particularly so going to the next one here is a good slide sorry and here it is here so we can see in a fast market the market is absolutely taken off like a rocket and this is where you've got to be very cautious when you're doing your back testing uh, because you can look at it and say great I could have got on this and I'll show you some techniques on how to stay in these moves we've got some uh, got some great ideas on how to capture these great moves which I'll teach you but um, uh, but you've got to be on them first so just remember when you're doing your back testing just go back regularly and just check what time these have been set because sometimes you'll find that they just weren't tradable and you've got to be really honest with yourself when you're doing this back testing so the next one here I want to get across is we spoke about time so remember the candles are formed on price action um, not volume not time so we can see the time it took for each one of these candles to form I should say bricks <laughs> uh, nine minutes 36 minutes eight minutes nine so you can just give you an idea on the time it can actually take so if you go into a 10 pip so once again just to really drum this home if you're on a 10 pip uh, if you're trading Forex you can see there you need a 20 pip reversal I just tend to find that uh, a lot of traders get a little confused when they're looking at these uh, 
now just before we sign off we're just about um, uh, up to our 30 minute session here is that you'll hear me talk a lot about what I call the V trade when I'm trading Renko the trade is where I get one of these great moves and you get a great V trade and we're going to be talking more about this members I'll spend a lot of time on this but uh, just to make for you to start to look at in the next few days if you start to set up your Renko uh, look at your V trade so here this is once again on oil so on CL I like the two tick uh, maybe the three if two's a bit fast for you look at the three tick likewise with gold generally speaking two tick is fine you might need to jump up to a three tick as we know gold can take off like a rocket there are specific turning point times so just look for what we call the T tick now also uh, here we are showing the true high and low look we're up to 30 minutes I'm going to just stop it here because otherwise we'll go for an hour and I want to um, limit this so look we'll sign off on this so traders if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for the second video on this uh, members I've given you a ton of information go back into the members site just just as a reminder uh, it's un in the folder Renko charts we'll be able to uh, watch those two existing detailed recordings in their Rinko charts so traders thank you very much we'll see you on the next uh, video please subscribe and uh, good hunting but I'll have the second video done over the next day or two which I'll send out to the general public and members you'll find it in the in that folder thank you mm -hmm.